damage if something hit me with arcane. And <coughs> the terrain modifiers here tell me, uh, in addition to the uh, defense I have on them, uh, the movement cost, uh, and that means uh, that uh, normally it would uh, only cost me one movement point <coughs> to uh, move, move on flat or something, but <coughs> in uh, shallow water, for example, it would cost me three movement points, and that would mean uh, <coughs> even the uh, pathfinding path would uh, uh, want me to uh, go around the water because it's not beneficial in a movement point cost uh, or even in a defensive uh, position to <coughs> even in my even in the defenses uh, to no that doesn't sound right uh, even from the point of uh, how well I would defend Yes, that actually sounds, even though it uh, doesn't sound very good, it uh, <laughs> it at least uh, should be grammatically correct. Uh, and some people argue that uh, grammatically is redundant uh, to say uh, that they... Uh, but they, uh, but uh, I, I think it's uh, it's uh, <coughs> still the uh, uh, correct way to say it. <coughs> what else was I going to say? Nothing at this point, I believe. Yes, let's just end the turn. <laughs> That's just I've been. <laughs> 20 minutes, yeah, I've spent 20 minutes just babbling about stuff. Well, probably not 20 minutes, but anyway, you're about to be healed by 8 hit points. Ah, I, I meant, you're about to be healed by 8 hit points, precious, but, it, but it's time to summon uh, some help against what went in. I'll recruit some elves! A splendid idea! You can recruit two, two units if you return to the keep! You have plenty of gold for that precious! Move Conrad to the keep. Recruit! Whenever you're, you're on a, a keep, you can recruit into the castle tiles around it by right clicking and selecting recruit. This time you will only be given one type of unit to choose, the Elvish Fighter. Right click on a, ca on a castle tile and select Recruit. Well, I could do that, but there is also this uh, uh, shortcut Control R, which I am going to use. And I haven't yet used the planning mode, but I saw it on a game commentary because let's play is in the verb whatever form <coughs> where was i going with that uh, so i actually know how to use the planning mode i just don't want to use it well i i'm probably going to use it there just to test it. I haven't test even tested it myself. Elvish fighters, but it 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 is going to be so easy to kill that Well, um, let's just do as the tutorial tells me to. New recruits. New units cannot act in the turn they appear. You will gain control of them next next turn. After this dialogue, you can move the mouse over a unit. Over a unit. I, I really shouldn't uh, read this quickly. 
well, no, I should read quickly, but uh, I should uh, try to leave spaces uh, in uh, front of uh, the words so that you can differentiate uh, that uh, I actually, uh, I am actually uh, using the article or whatever that is in English, those little words, uh, and earn. Uh, to see a summary of its abilities on the right of the screen. Uh, yes, let's... Uh, no, let's attack, because why not? It, it's in such a bad position. And no, it's always in a bad position. But I am... Uh, uh, I have so many hit points, I can do this. I lost so many, but, well, it has a chance to kill me now, because it can do 15 damage total to me, I believe, yes, 15 total. <coughs> so, I have a slight chance of uh, getting killed here, I probably shouldn't have at attacked that uh, Quentin, but, well, I did. The quilter is destroyed! I have a very loud voice, and I have gained more experience, and I have an even louder voice now! Yes, you gain experience for a battle, especially by killing an opponent. You should. Uh, uh, no, how did that quilt go? Uh, you should bring its filthy little neck. Gain enough experience and you will become more powerful. Power! Power. Now, Conrad, I will leave you, leave you with more dummies to practice on. After that, you have real work to do. These dummies only attack if you are a single tile away. With care, you should be able to kill them one at a time. I will tell them to use uh, the one that does the... Uh, <laughs> of course, uh, to use the way are, well, training dummies uh, that does the most damage. Uh, do you still... Do you want to keep practicing? You can end this scenario at any time by using the end scenario item in the context menu. Actually, well, the tutorial should be a breeze, so uh, let's just let's just say I think I've got it. After we. After your victory notice, the map will be grayed out to indicate that the scenario is over, but you will still be able to examine the final positions and state of your troops and any surviving enemies. This is called linger mode. Uh, when you're finished, click the end, end scenario button to go on the next, next scenario in the campaign. And here you can actually see the, well, it uh, auto saves every turn, it's pretty useful. Uh, destroy a fierce enemy. Um, I, I still didn't, uh, well, I still couldn't tell what would happen. Uh, uh, well, I would probably uh, win the scenario, actually, because this is a tutorial after all. End scenario. Oh, Gartred. And uh, these, they have uh, really improved the graphics uh, over time. Even the portraits, well, especially the portraits, I should say. Uh, have changed. Has uh, uh, Delphador conjured something else to beat me with? 
grief. A flock of scarecrows, perhaps. This is no game, Conrad. Orcs have encamped across the river. This is elven country. Uh, they are fools to end here. The elves are fast and hard to hit in the forests. We must def defeat the leader so they, they never threaten us again. I will advise you. What the? I forgot the voice uh, voice act. <laughs> Conrad and uh, oh, most of that Galtred. What should I do? I have a very loud voice and I don't know how, why people hate me. They try to keep their distance when I'm, especially when I'm talking. I don't know why. What have I ever done to them? Uh, let's see. What voice should I give Ga Galtrat? Something un elf life like because <laughs> all of all of my other voices have been uh well mock uh, have been mocking the users let's see what would be an un elvish voice elvish elvish yes elvish not elfish of course I was just, just, uh, <coughs> I'm always so, uh, strict about what I, what I am, uh, what I, what noises I let out of my mouth. Uh, so, a voice for Galdred. Ah, no, I know. <laughs> we'll use that. Uh, that. Do -do 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 voice. <laughs> Fast! Fear! Fast! Shoot! Get a bunch of flowers! Then arrange them nicely in a vase! Get it! Get it! Actually, there was, there was something else. Pretty uh, petunias, irises, and crimanthusums. And then arrange them nicely in a vase. Yes. Uh, I might have uh, remembered uh, the flower names incorrectly. Oh, are they actually even species? They could be. Uh, anyway. First, we will have to deal with all the scrunt stationed in the middle of the river. He should be a little trouble. <laughs> uh, a, a very meager voice. <laughs> oh, God, right, the lee captain. <laughs> <laughs> A very good leadership you have. <laughs> By then, the leader will have re recruited more units to send against us and the real fight will begin. See this dark blue... That's actually... <clears throat> grandma, remember the grandma, you idiot! Have you have you not have you not been have you have you not been to school? Yes, uh, that's not a question. Uh, or actually, it's actually not even a, a real sentence. You you are missing the uh, the the. the uh, um, Object? No, I don't think it's the object. The person. What? What is it? What is it called? V V V. Me and my poor English skills. Anyway, you are uh, missing two things here. Uh, <coughs> Viewer, can you spot them uh, without me saying what they are? 
Well, can you uh, post it in the comments? Uh, actually, uh, you can't because I have disabled the comments because I hate you all. We hate you all! Goodbye. Uh, that... Mm. Anyway... Uh, we are the... Uh, the... Western word. It must have a specific name in English. Uh, but I, I, I don't think I have uh, <laughs> practiced much of the uh, names of the, uh, of the <coughs> well, uh, things re re related to grammar of in in, in, in English or something. Uh, well, the Galdred, uh, <laughs> the Galdred, Galdred should, uh, not uh, say, but uh, say, uh, do you see this dark blue water? Learn to speak! <sighs> that gives me even more reason to mock his uh, uh, speech, how he speaks. So let's start, m continue mocking him. See this dark blue water? It's too deep for either, either side to cross. It's too deep for either side. Ah, I mean, it means to be orcs and me. Uh. The orcs could slowly wade through that narrow band of shallow dark light. Actually, uh, there are... People in Monty Python's flying circus who uh, speak this way. I can't just. I just can't remember what uh, they, they were called. Was. Uh, <laughs> uh, I spent four hours burying a cat! Four hours to bury a cat? Uh, I can't remember uh, how that, uh, even that uh, conversation went, but uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, those are the people I am, uh, this uh, remind, this, my voice reminded me of. And I spent four hours burying a cat, the orcs could slowly wade through the narrow band of shallow light of blue water in the east. But we could stand on the shore and force them to fight. Not, not fight, but. Fight us from the water where we are exposed and we are protected by the forest. The more likely attack when uh, is. Uh, uh, not the, but only attack. The more likely attack when is across the bridge. That middle island is the key. It has a village for healing in church units and forest in which we fight so well. To start, we will need some units. Two elvish fighters, two elvish archers, one elvish shaman. You... You fools! Uh, uh, invis invisible gunslinger number one, if you didn't know where that came from. Uh, he's a, co a game commentator like me. Uh, <coughs> you forgot the and, and actually you forgot the commas. Uh, yes, commas as well. And the period also. <sighs> if any Elvish fighters from your last battle had experienced, experienced we would recall them to the current battlefield. However, your veterans gained no experience, so it's cheaper to recruit new units. Instead, recruit an Elvish fighter. Defeat the Oak Lord. Defeat and death of Conrad turns out run out. So uh, it probably means this tile, but it's uh, uh, 
No. There aren't any tires south e southeast of me. Hmm. Pretty interesting. It doesn't mean this, obviously, since I can't recruit on it. But if I had uh, <coughs> experience for my <sighs> favorite things here, I could rec recall them. It's old, uh, old R, and I will be using that uh, in the future. <coughs> I could uh, recall them. It's just. Uh, put it here. <coughs> and your new recruit has two traits. Strong and intelligent. Strong means the unit does more damage and intelligent, intelligent, which I am not, means it needs, uh, which I certain, certainly am not, means it needs less experience to advance a level. Uh, east of you and recruit an Elvish fighter. <coughs> Golly has two treats! Yes, yes, yes! <sighs> you, you can... Well... Should I actually be reading this also? Well, uh, this makes... These are uh, better descriptions anyway. Quick give, gives plus one moves and minus five percent hit points and resilient uh, plus uh, four hit points and plus one HP per level. And strong plus one damage and plus uh, one HP to my melee attacks. Uh, and intelligence, <coughs> not intelligence, but intelligent uh, means minus 20% experience to advance. Let's actually uh, see, <coughs> look at the descriptions. Elvish fighter. Elves are not warlike by, by nature, but in times of need, their natural grace and uh, agility serve them well, as does their skillful uh, craftsmanship. Oh, womanship! An elf can grasp the uh, basic... Uh, Thank you, brother. Oh, sister. Oh, sister. Where was I? I think you'd finished. Uh, I, I was saying, uh, every man. Oh, it is the inalienable right of every man. Oh, woman. <laughs> That's just so funny. <coughs> you, all of you should really uh, watch uh, uh, The Life of Brian by Monty Python. Uh, <coughs> when an elf can grasp the, grasp the basics of swordsman or womanship and archery in a time uncannily showed by the standards of others races <coughs> not others why am i putting these extra letters in i i really just don't know i'm afraid even i really just don't know i don't know our only clue is this uh, uh i can't remember the word uh, well, I couldn't make out the word uh, <coughs> they were using. Uh, <coughs> Otherwise, I probably would have remembered it. <sighs> uh, I. Anyway. But uh, <coughs> one of the sheep. Was wearing <laughs> by the Viking <laughs> Vikings, <laughs> and when uh, uh, we should uh, be a uh, Viking fort, <laughs> I could uh, uh, show you uh, randomly. That <laughs> uh, would be so funny. Uh, uh, an elf can and put them uh, to effective use on the battlefield. <sighs> yes. 
Archant. Archant. We shaman. Shaman. Miss Shannon is a very weak unit, but she has the ability fit to heal friendly units around her. She also has a special attack which slows enemies having the damage we do. Should I end my turn? <coughs> Should I end my turn now? Well, while none of your recruited units can move, you still can. Your five units cost you five gold in upkeep. Leaving you free cold poor the per turn. per turn. You need more income. Uh, Conrad to capture a village. Move Conrad. You've learned well. <laughs> You've learned well, Conrad. I somehow thought I misread that, but I didn't. The village supposed. <coughs> that I really misled. Uh, a village, village supports one unit and pays one gold per turn. You're only losing one gold per turn now. And your turn. And I should read those dis their descriptions also. Orcish grunts have no ranged attacks, so use your archers against them. You need summaries to be a review the cap capabilities of any unit, including an enemy. Hover a mouse over it, and you will see a unit summary on the right of the screen. Elvish Captain. Elves, unlike many other races, will quickly acknowledge and uh, follow any of the peers uh, who have experience in, in combat. Combat. This, uh, in this way, differ greatly from a uh, human. Uh, Unanimity, <laughs> like Spaffy, the Spaffy would say it, uh, for whom leadership is often a matter of coercion and intimidation. The combination of the willingness to accept the wisdom of the leaders and the tendency to choose leaders of merit is one of the is one of the quiet strengths of the elves. Special notes: the leadership of this unit enables adjacent units on of the same side to deal more damage in combat. Though this only applies to units of, of lower level, level. And no, I can't go to the other village, Vist. But I could go there, yes, that I will do. Uh, let's see, my, uh, my archers. Elves have always had a reputation for archery, a skill that for many, re many reasons come nat comes naturally to them. Even the frail of body can be deadly with a bow in hand, and, the, and in times of war many will take up this weapon. Though their relatively inexperience with combat leaves them somewhat vulnerable, the natural grace ensures that they can best any of humanity's humanity's uh, fresh recruits <laughs> and I'm uh, on purpose mispronouncing uh, humanity and humans because uh, let's see human you are so ugly so hideous to us that we will never be able to find peace with your species. <coughs> and... Um, uh, should I say... Uh, yes, I will say... Uh, quote its... Uh, its conclusion, because... Well... Uh, nobody can prove I'm... Uh, who I am anyway on the internet. This is the internet. <coughs> well, I, I have already <laughs> I used a couple of threats, I believe, I <sighs> against the weaver. So <laughs> a couple more won't do any harm. <coughs> Whenever we see your kind, we just want to kick you, stomp on you. Squish you, vaporize your ugly faces from the entire universe. We know it's unreasonable. We know that you had no choice about how you look. 
we know that it is cruel fate that we... Uh, 